Good afternoon, my name is Chatrine Chevron. I work at NYU Langone Health in the School of Medicine's Department of Population Health. My research has been focused on reducing the burden of cancer, diabetes, hypertension, and more recently, COVID-19 related disparities, particularly among communities in New York City. Most of the work that I do occurs in community-based settings, working with social service agencies, faith-based organizations, and often in collaboration with community health workers. New York City has a very diverse population comprised of many racial and ethnic groups. A substantial proportion of them are also first and second generation immigrant. And we know that there are many barriers in terms of engaging, recruiting, and retaining individuals from diverse communities, particularly in low-income neighborhoods, there are many communities that, who we work with that experience language access, barriers to understanding uh, different materials or, or um, just because those materials may not be linguistically or culturally appropriate. And also this un poor understanding of the benefit and value of participating in clinical research, health research in general. The challenge that I see in clinical trials is really the need to diversify who's engaged, who's enrolled in those studies, and how do we ensure that there's equity in both accessing and retaining individuals in clinical trials research. We know that language access in New York City is a, a barrier for engaging and reaching many communities. And another barrier is, is associated with health literacy. Sometimes as researchers, documents are written or conveyed in a way that is difficult to understand and very dense. Sometimes researchers may use very technical terms or lots of jargon. And the challenge associated with that high level of, of uh, health literacy or the use of, of jargon often dissuades even willing participants uh, from agreeing to participate in the study because they just frankly just don't understand what is being shared or the value of participating. We also know that, there, that sometimes we, as researchers, uh, need to make sure that it's clear what the direct and tangible benefits of participating in a research study. So for example, offering uh, compensation for an individual's time in participating in a study or completing a survey or coming back for different visits to share uh, different types of data. And then there's also the value uh, from a community perspective of, of why it's important to participate in research. What does that, what does my participation offer in terms of understanding uh, the relevance of different treatments for my community? And so really conveying, conveying that understanding is, is important. Um, and to be able to speak in a way that is accessible and um, really outlines the both the immediate and long-term benefits of participating in a study.